Welcome back to Monroe's Corner. We're back with another reaction. Today we got Candace Owens, The Greatest Lie Ever Told, George Floyd and the Rise of BML official trailer. Um, we just did the uh, Candace Owens uh, video where she confronted uh, Patrice uh, from BLM. And um, that's when I, um, she, she mentioned the um, documentary a few times in there. So I wanted to go ahead and check it. I said there was a trailer out on her channel. So I wanted to come check the trailer out. I want to go ahead and do it with y'all. Uh, so let's get it, man. Welcome back to another day at Stay Curious University. <laughs> All right, man. I'm on the road to 20K, man. Uh, 20K by the end of the May, man. Let's get it, man. We got to set these goals. Let's got to set these goals. So if you enjoy the reaction before you leave, all I ask is for a like for the algorithm and a subscribe for the channel growth, man. Yeah, Marking, five, take one. This was the second time he exhibited that behavior, yeah. 11 months earlier. Mark. I've never been so hurt inside and even as I'm speaking to you right now, it's starting to come back. This is an autonomous zone. 23 out of 24 hours in a cell. No TV, no magazines, no books, no nothing. So anytime a customer brings a counterfeit bill, and you see we have plenty of them, we tell them, hey, this is counterfeit. If the customer insists, then we call the police. How did you feel watching the trial? I thought it was a sham. All right, so I, I just want to start it with just you stating your name for the record, okay. as well as your professional background. I have been a police officer in the state of Minnesota for almost four decades. Forensic criminologist and certified medical investigator and police practices expert. <laughs> Yeah, some good moments here. It was like we lived together almost, uh, I guess, it was about four and a half years, almost five years. So you guys, in, in many ways, were some of the people that were the closest to him. And I don't remember seeing your faces on the news or anybody talking to you. So I guess let's just start with that. You guys knew him best. So who was George Floyd? She right. We haven't told our side of the story. Maybe it's time for us to tell our story, you know? So that was George Floyd's people at the end. Like, why haven't nobody talked to them? Like, what's going on with that? You know what I'm saying? Because that was the rise of BLM, Black Lives Matter. It got really, it got, it got really out of hand, boy. After the George Floyd situation, it was just like the police brutality was at its peak. Uh. I, I ain't gonna, I was, I, I was scared to go outside, to go to the store, take my walk around the neighborhood, and my wife be like, be safe. Thing is, it was like, it was already bad, and when the movement started, when Black Lives Matter started, there was a, there, that created a, a, a bigger divide. And I couldn't understand it at first. Like, why don't people see? Why don't people see that, you know, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the police brutality, the the, the the clearer picture that I'm that I'm 
Like why 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 y'all fighting so hard against us? But to now know like the corruption that was within the organization now I see why. You know what I'm saying? Why people were fighting against it. It wasn't more so that black lives didn't matter. It was more so the people who was leading the movement, that they was corrupt individuals. And when you have corrupt individuals taking advantage or profiting off of people's tragedy and people's death, then that takes away from the message. It takes away from the movement because it creates separate conversations now. And we get away from the point. We get away from a solution because we have corrupt individuals in place running a peace treaty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, a march or protest for equality uh, and against police brutality. So we had, the, they they started to defund the police and all this arose from it. It was, it was bad, man. People lost their lives. People was locked up. People got beaten. You know what I'm saying? I almost got beaten. You know what I mean? It was bad. It was, it was really dark. Those were really dark times, man. I've dealt with several branches of Black Lives Matter. Um, they, uh, it was kind of crazy too, man, because it was, it was a lot of drama within those branches when we was, we was trying to do our part to help. It was just like this branch didn't really mess with this branch, and then, like certain people within the same organization didn't really mess with uh, who they had leading that particular branch. It was like, oh, don't mess with him. It was, it was like, it was, it was just a lie. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I'm like, dang, why? It's, it's supposed to be, supposed to be a united, you know, this supposed to be a united group. This supposed to be a united front. Why is, why do y'all have all this going on with each other? Uh, one of the guys really wanted to be an actor and stuff like that. So I'm starting to see him just on TV more and stuff like that. A lot of agendas was really in question. <laughs> a lot of agendas was really in question. I ain't going to name the names of people, but he had gotten, he had gotten into a lot of mess after then. We had to fall back. Like, like this is just like the agendas, man. The genders was corrupt, man. Now I see why. Because they ain't had no real structure. They only had no headquarters. Got a lot of houses. And they ain't had no real structure. So how could these other branches be, be structured? They just winging it. It's wild, man. It's wild. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm tuned in when this drops. I'm tuned in when this drops. I am tuned in. So let me know if you want me to cover it uh, when it drops. Um, yeah. Shout out to Ken and Solons for being diligent enough to stay with it. Stay with the, uh, stay curious and stay digging for the info. Um, I'm really, I really want to hear what um, George Floyd's uh, people have to say uh, about everything, about everything. I really want to know. I know. Uh, yeah, and then we get to go into, you know, the cops, how they feel. You know what I mean? Especially with the whole defunding of the police. Like how they make the good cops feel. Let's get into it, man. We we own this when it drop. All right. You enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right. 20K by May, baby. One love.